What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie and today for you we are sharing what's inside my hotel bag. Now this is something I bring with me. We do a lot of like weekend excursions. I am a full-time RVer, mom of four, so we try to take breaks out of the RV as much as we can. I love to travel. I actually have a travel page. It's called Travel Vibe Chasers. If you don't know that, we have a YouTube channel and we have an Instagram, so go check us out. But everything in this bag is what you will need. You guys know I love a well-executed kit. That's why they call me the kit queen here. So hopefully this will be helpful to you guys. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go follow me over there. I post a lot on a daily basis, different products, and you'll find everything there. Also, all of the product links will be listed in a blog post down below. It'll say tap here to shop, and you'll be able to find everything there. All right, you guys, I am so excited to show you this video. If you hear snoring, my dog is snoring in the background and she keeps trying to come over here. So hopefully we won't be interrupted. I have a migraine so bad right now, but I really did not want to leave another lapse in videos for you guys. My kid just started school, so it's been insane. I homeschool four kids. So yeah, anywho. All right, so this is the bag. You guys have seen this before. Okay, I love this bag for traveling. I can grab the handle and you know I'm probably gonna put a label on it now that the bags both look the same I mean you can see through it and you can see what's in it But I'm probably gonna label the top now that I'm looking at it So the last video that I did and you guys requested this one I'm gonna put a couple clips in here, but that was my that was my hotel room video And you know one item that I did forget out of that was I got a carbon monoxide tester and I put it in there I totally forgot that I bought it for that video, but I wanted to tell you guys, so if you saw the last one, and this is a continuation for you, I did put a carbon monoxide, like a detector. So I put that in there as well. And then I also, I'll pop up on the screen right here. I put little tiny USB plug night lights in there as well. So I just wanted to add that from the last video. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. Everything will be linked in a blog post. So all the products, this bag, is linked underneath this video. I post it like five times so you guys don't miss it, but it's in a blog post. So let's get into this. So if you didn't see the last video, here is the bag. It is nice and thick. It's definitely heavy. So this bag comes with me. I was in an Airbnb for six weeks and I needed every single item in this bag. Also, if you're just staying in a hotel room, I don't like to buy breakfast. I try to eat at least breakfast at home and I have a couple other items I'm gonna be sharing with you guys that I bring as well that is not or will not fit in this bag. Everything you could possibly think of, even if you order in or room service, there's just all the extra necessities that you would need, but also things to help me cook when I'm on the go. I don't always get a kitchen, but I still like to cook inside my hotel room. We travel full-time, we are full-time RVers, so traveling is a huge part of our life. So this bag is definitely a necessity. Now, if you're wondering about like liquids and if you wanna bring this on an airplane, you will definitely have to take out the condiments and the liquids and the syrup and all that stuff and put it in another bag. But if you have kids with you, all you guys have to do is each one of your children that are paying for a seat, they also get a liquids bag. So. Even if yours is full, your husband's full, your older kids, and you have younger kids, put it in their bag. Use this stuff as your liquids for your little ones. So that way you can still bring everything that you need to. All right, so let's open this up. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little aerial shot here. So as you can see, I have labeled everything. You guys already know, file folder system. It's so nice. And then I also have these bags that fit in here perfectly. They did not come with the bag, but they they were made for the bag, basically. <laughs> okay, let's get into this first little section here. This is condiments. Oh, and so I don't pull these bags out. So once these bags are in, they stay in. I'm just gonna pull them out so I can show you guys stuff. But I always put the zippers to the top in the center. That just kind of, I know it's silly to think, but I just always put my zippers to the center. So I can just pull them down on the side and grab things out like this as I need to, okay? Instead of having to pull this whole thing, it just, I don't, I like the ease of things and it's not easy to pull these bags in and out because they're plastic. As you can see, this first pocket here says condiments. I love this label maker, you guys. It will also be linked for you. And I used to carry a way bigger thing than this, but this is perfect. I love how small and sleek it is. You can fit six different ones in here. They all stay together, which is really nice. And the spices that I chose, of course, customize it for yourself. We have pepper, paprika, garlic, oregano, salt, and fennel. I like fennel, you guys, if you've never cooked with fennel seeds before, they basically make things taste kind of like sausage. So if you like sausage, 
but I use it on like turkey meat and it makes it, it really amps up the flavor. I just love putting oregano in like Italian and Mexican and all different stuff. So I like having those two spices with me. I also have other ones in here, but these are the basic necessities and it's just so small and sleek. I also use that label maker. That's how I got these like cursive labels. We're gonna pull this out so you guys can see how I organized everything. And of course I stand it all up so I can see everything and it's a lot easier. I have a little honey jar. If the kids do oatmeal or whatever, I like to have that. And I always like to do some syrup. I always like to have breakfast. So having syrup is vital for us. And speaking of breakfast, this is one of the items that I like to bring with me. It's very small and you can literally cook hamburger on here if you really wanted to. It gets really hot and you can do waffles, you can put eggs. We always crack an egg on here. It's dirty, don't judge me. But it's just a regular waffle maker. It's just so nice to have it when you're traveling and on the go. So I love this thing. And then I also, in this little pack, I put peanut butter in here. These are like those kids food containers. I use the natural peanut butter so it's a little bit more liquidy and then I can just pour it in here and then they can pour it on there. If you have not had a waffle or a pancake with peanut butter and syrup, you are missing out on life. Please tell me if you try it because it is my absolute favorite. I've been eating it like that since I was a kid. So I love doing this. If you have oatmeal or whatever, it's nice to have peanut butter and it's small and sleek and then I can just stick it in the bag. But don't forget, this counts as a liquid. So you will have to put this in somebody's liquid bag if you travel with it. We are usually going to Airbnbs that we drive to, so I don't really have to worry about that. So now inside of here, we're gonna go from the back so you guys can see. So I have these two right here. These are seasoning packets. This is ramen seasoning. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you have not tried this, it's so good. It is the best seasoning ever. You can put it on chicken. I put it on everything. Even when I'm cooking like Mexican food or whatever, it seasons up everything so nicely. Whatever type of like meat dish you're cooking, it's delish. And then I also have this packet for taco seasoning, which I need to refill inside of here. But those two are pretty important. I really enjoy having these on me. I use them all the time. So obviously if I'm in like a hotel room, if depending on how long I go, like I've lived in a hotel room for like three months when our RV was getting fixed. So I brought a little mini skillet, I still have it, and I'll bring my taco seasonings, I'll go to the store, I'll buy meat, do whatever. If I'm in an Airbnb, they don't always have the seasonings that you want, so it's just nice to have these, you know? And I love these little jar baggies, they're super cute. And then we have the other packs here, so now I'm just gonna pull all of these out so you can see. All right, so first up we have ketchup. This ketchup is actually from Canada. They have such good ketchup and their ingredients are better than ours. They don't have all of the chemicals and stuff. So it's very sad here in America, it really is. But look how fat and chunky these are. Like this is how it was made to be. Like I always use at least two or three packs of ketchup. Why don't we like get on board, America? I don't understand. This is amazing. So I have a few of these in my bag. I love these little pouches too. They're so nice and they keep everything like really compact. Okay, then we have tea. I have my favorite teas in here. It's kombucha, sweet tangerine, and then I have a bedtime tea, which is nice to have when you're traveling or you're on the go. Then we have stevia packets. I have to have stevia packets. Then I have some hot sauce. This is sriracha. I'm also gonna add some other hot sauce, not like an Asian flavor. I'm gonna do like, I think I have tapatio or something. I do, and I just gotta add it in here, but. We will add the other flavors in there and then I have soy sauce. In this next bag here, it says cups and coffee. Okay, so it's in another, it's in another one of these like pouches. This guy will heat up your coffee that's been cold and you can just stick this in there and it'll heat it up. This heats water up. So you can take one of these cups, okay, and fill it with water and then stick this in there. You gotta make sure it doesn't tip over though, so be aware of how heavy the cord is. And it'll heat the water up. Or you can get like a big pitcher if they have a coffee pot and you don't wanna use, cause some of their coffee pots are nasty and you don't want your water running through the coffee pot, you can just use this. This is a hot cup that is just so nice to have on the go. You can put soup in here, whatever you want. You can just use it as a regular cup. So I have two of these. And then I have this guy that fits on top. This is for coffee and you need a coffee, they're not in here right now, I don't know where they're at, but you need a little coffee filter and then you just sit it on top of your cup and it filters your coffee right through here. So you just, 
it's like a pour over. You pour the coffee over it. So my husband is addicted to coffee and he needs his fix. So that's something that we always have with us just in case they don't have things to make coffee or it looks dirty and nasty and you don't want to deal with it. Next up in here, this says utensils. So I just keep them in this bag. I don't remember where I got this bag. I know I'm going to get people asking me, but this is just a little set that I got off of Amazon and they are, you can use any of these in a pan. So this is just like a really great set to have super small and compact so like they look like kitchen toys i mean little kid kitchen toys then i always have a little miniature dish soap so we can wash dishes or cups or whatever we need to and then this is really nice to have you guys this is a portable i love making tea so this pops up you just plug it in and you heat your water up and it, so the handle sits right there on the side and then you just hook it on here like this. Slide that up there like that. And then now you have your handle and you can pour your coffee. You can pour your hot water for your tea or you can make soup, whatever it is. But I just love this thing, it's so nice. And then it just goes back on the side here like that. And then the last thing I have is a cutting board. Now I usually keep like a little paring knife in here. But if you're traveling to the airport, you can't have that. And I don't know where it is. I need to stick it back in here, but I do have a little cutting board. Like even if I'm making drinks or something and I wanna cut up some lemon or some lime, I love when I'm on vacation to make like guacamole in my hotel room because it's easy and I can just buy a bag of chips, bring it to the pool with me or whatever. I have a bunch of videos that have on the go, like vacation food, what I like to make in my hotel. So if you guys wanna see those videos, I will link those for you as well because I have a boat day video, I have stuff I like to bring to the pool, all those, and it's just nice to have a little cutting board. And a knife if you are not flying because that would just be a pain in the butt to deal with. Okay, I have a stack of stuff, I'm gonna set it right here, that I wanted to just show you guys that I kind of like to bring with me. I already showed you guys the waffle maker. If we're on like a long vacation and I wanna save money, I'll bring cups and then I'll bring like squeeze or little drink packets and then I can make drinks for the kids. It's more affordable when you're on the go to like bring your own stuff with you. So if I got room in the suitcases or we're just driving, I'll put this in like our food bag because I bring like an entire food bag with us if we're going to an Airbnb or we're doing like a beach trip. And then another thing is I love this. I'll bring this to the beach or to the pool. I'll put, you know, salsa on one side and hummus, something like that. And then it pops open. I like that they fold flat. This is great for traveling. It's not super airtight, so you need to keep that in mind. It will leak if you are not careful, so. But I don't mind because it's usually a short distance. And then I also have these flat popping ones. But I use these as bowls if I need to mix or if I'm making the recipes or whatever. And then they also have the lid so I can put the lid on them and then store them in the little fridge if there is one, if I need to, or bring it on the go with us. So I love having these type of things with me and I will pack these as well. And then of course I'll always bring like some paper plates. So if even if we're at a place, I don't wanna be doing dishes on vacation, you know? And also I would bring napkins, paper towels, and utensils, always have utensils. And then these are really nice, you guys. So if you have um, plates in the room and you don't want to fully, you know, submerge them in dirt, you could just put one of these paper things on there or you can use these as placemats. They go inside of baskets for like chicken nuggets and stuff at diners, but I like to bring these with me too, so I'll stick those in my bag. I always bring like garbage bags. I feel like that's super important. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed what was inside my hotel bag. This is so helpful to me, so I'm hoping it's helpful to you guys. Hopefully it gives you some inspiration. Let me know if you guys come up with anything that you wanna add to your bag. That would be awesome down below. And everything will be listed, like I said, in that blog post. You go down and it'll say tap here to shop links, and I'll post it like five times so you guys don't miss it. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit that little bell, always come say hello. I love getting to know you guys. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a hotel emoji down below and let me know that you did. Thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie.